There's always one goal with the Chemidoc MP imaging project, which was to make the best imaging system in the world. Sensitivity is a lot of things. In my mind, the most relevant explanation is the ability to see a really rarefied signal plenty clearly above any background that might be there from the instrument or the sample. And there's a bunch of different ways that one could approach sensitivity. One could have a faster lens, one could have a larger sensor, one could have a sensor with better dark current or lower read noise. So there are a couple different ways to approach the problem. So film is an interesting animal and it's what I originally learned on. Um, so when you set about to beat it with a digital imager, you, you have to be able to allow the customer to do the things that they can do with film. And of course, since you can put more than one piece of film in there successively in time, you want to make sure that they can you can get the sensitivity from the longest piece of film and from the shortest. So you want to aim at a raw, better dynamic range, which a, a single picture will give you. You have more concern for sensitivity on an imaging system when you're looking at uh, Western blots, which are light-starved applications. These are typically going to be your chemiluminescence, uh, your far red fluorescence applications. Resolution is more important when you're looking at a complicated sample or something which is made of many bands. Our legacy instrumentation was wanting in a few spaces, uh, which caused us to have to go to a completely new platform, completely new camera in order to fulfill all these needs. We started by mocking cameras with the correct sensor and some early prototype lenses up literally on a stick and we moved them up and down and focused them to make sure that the lens did its thing. And we looked at the sensitivity. When you move the camera in, when you decrease the field of view, you're basically taking the entire image sensor and you're using that on a much smaller area. It is essentially the inverse square law. The reason that our mechanical zoom and optical system is so good at taking pictures in low light is that it's, it's flat out optimized for it. It has a ridiculously low dark current CCD. It has a very fast lens that's optimized for just the spectral ranges that we're operating in. Um, it has a zoom stage that can maximize for the smallest sample that anybody would ever use. You can zoom right in there and you can take a picture of just that or you can take a picture of multiple blots at the same time. Uh, so multiplexing is very important uh, for an imaging system. Uh, and for Western blotting. It's difficult to judge how much relative sample you have from one blot to another because they're treated differently. If you have everything on one membrane, you're able to much better relate the expression levels of one antigen to another. So yeah, we considered lasers. We ended up choosing LEDs. Um, one reason, yeah, I mean, if you filter an LED properly, it behaves a lot like a laser. And LEDs are known to be extremely reliable sources, uh, very stable. Um, lasers can struggle from speckle problems, but the biggest advantage of an LED, in my opinion, is the sheer amount of power you can get from these devices. And we ended up needing to have LEDs made that did not exist and have some custom filters made and, and, and reflectors to allow us to get the performance that we needed. With a camera-based imaging system, filtering's challenging. You, you have light coming in from all different angles. You have this big image sensor that you have to protect from all these you know, stray light. Um, it's, a, it's a challenge. Um, and our first generation product, the, the older Chemidoc MP, uh, we used only one layer of filtering. We just had a we just had a filter in front of the lens. And this new instrument that we developed, we actually I I, I view it as four different levels of, of filtering. We have filters behind the lens. We have filters in front of the lens. Um, the actual lens itself acts as a spatial filter that sort of filters out all the highly off-angle light and parasitic light. So a lot more sophisticated filtering in this new product. And it really is what enabled us to get good performance in the, in the near infrared in particular. One of the nice things about going custom was that we could make the resolution a bit higher than what we could find from off the shelf lenses. 
We could also optimize the lens uh, coatings, anti-reflection coatings, which is important to get the most light through the lens. Uh, we did some specialty coatings that you wouldn't find in a standard uh, lens. Um, and also we were able to paint the inside of the lens with special black materials that um, helped with mitigating some of the, the parasitic stray light that can bounce within lenses. It basically helped reduce uh, your optical background levels that you see. For purposes of quantitation, it's completely irrelevant what the source of the noise is. If it's from the sample itself or if it's from anything inside of the system, whether it be an electronic source of noise or just a diffuse scatter from some surface somewhere or something glowing, doesn't matter. It all ends up being noise that can be seen in the customer's picture. The quality processes that we have within our R&D organization ensure that the customer gets the best possible imaging system. We literally make thousands of blots and make sure that every single application that will ever run in the instrument will perform well. One of the unique requirements for the camera in this system was our positioning of our filters. That is very challenging to do and you cannot just go and get a commercial off-the-shelf camera that is capable of doing the things we need to do for our imaging system. So we had to bring that in-house in order to incorporate the filter wheel mechanism into the camera. This way we can control the sensor we want, we can control the cooling we want. This is all something which we can put together to optimize it exactly as the system needs for the applications the system is designed for. The sum total of all that we did for Cameras themselves, lenses, filtration, and illumination ended up being unique enough in terms of its performance capabilities that we wrapped it all up into a patent. We had to ask ourselves a number of questions when we were developing the fluorescence portion of the imager. They were all really quite simple, and it came down to, if you put the sample down anywhere on the imaging surface, do you get the same signal to background for any given band? Are there any other unwanted image artifacts that have appeared, regardless of the source? So we had to try all of the spectral channels with a whole series of different stains to make sure that there was nothing untoward happening. So as a scientist, uh, the integrity of the data is extremely important to me. I design instruments as if I'm going to be the one using them. Biorad, as a company, has been very adamant about the quality of the data forever in its imaging instruments. We have patents on image correction for uh, blot and gel sampling from back last century. And we have more patents this century regarding how to calibrate and improve the quality of imaging. I consider the Chemidoc MP to be the best system out there uh, for a number of reasons. One, it's breadth of capabilities. This thing can do your nucleic acid samples. It can do your acrylamide samples. It can do your Western blotting samples. We're not really restricting a customer to do what our system can do. We have a system which allows the customer to do what they want to do. They have all the options available to them. They can choose what they think works best for them. We've also spent a lot of time with the user interface. This is really important. I can make the greatest, most powerful whiz-bang thing in the world, but if somebody can't use it, it has no value. If we can't make a piece of equipment that enables a scientist to go out and get data easily, quickly, accurately, then we failed. It's very, very important that we enable scientists to get their job done. And I think that this system is the best option out there for multiplex imaging that a customer can get if they want to enable themselves to do their science.